How to paint an army you don't want to paint? This is a really good question. And first of all, thank you for John Wilkinson for the title for this video. There were many suggestions for it. Another one was how to find an army you want to paint and play. I'm going to focus on Age of Sigmar in this video because of the upcoming fourth edition in 2024. But you can extrapolate all of these methods, well, not all of these methods, to Warmer 40k, Star Wars Legion Shatter Points, Marvel Crisis Protocol, and so on and so on. There are a vast number of tabletop games out there in the world. And now you can accompany me on this journey on how I will find the army I want to paint and play in Age of Sigma. So, and don't be surprised with the differing quality in this video. I've been recording this for over two weeks. <laughs> so there are some inconsistencies in it because this is the first bigger, bigger video I've been doing. And yeah, I this is just your warning. <laughs> So in this video, I'm going to, well, talk you through the methods of how I am going to find the army. You can, of course, use those methods for yourself. You're probably already doing it, either knowing or not knowing that you're using those methods, but maybe you will get some new ideas. So for me, law is vastly important. Everyone knows I'm not the biggest Fire Slayer fan. <laughs> and I have here in my hands a battlesmith for the Fire Slayers. I love the lore of the Duarden or the Dwarves in Age of Sigma. But everyone who knows me knows I love my Daughters of Cain. I love every single death faction army and basically, yeah, every elf army. <laughs> so basically half of the armies are in my repertoire. Now I have to boil down on what I will find at the bottom of the pot. So the first method for me is lore. So there is a big amount of novels here in, well, the Black Library. And you can delve into all of the factions and lose yourself in the stories. And I would recommend this because it gives you a feel of the army. And everyone uh, who knows me, uh, well, I love the Black Library. I'm reading or rather listening to the majority of the stories on Audible and I have a very firm grasp of the narrative of Age of Sigma and of course 40k. So this was very difficult for me. As I've said, all of the death factions, all of the dwarf duardins and all of the elf factions are my favorite. So I needed another method. And now you would say, of course, it's the aesthetics. The aesthetics are very important and are a very deeply personal thing. This is nothing anyone can choose for you, but aesthetics are one of the most important things. Because in the end, you are probably the one who is going to paint these models. So then there is the gameplay part, which is kinda important, but not as important as you might believe at first, because rules change. The only certain thing is the model. Rules are fluids. You don't have a grasp on them because they will be gone in a moment. So what to do? Well, first of all, we can watch Winswenterella's videos about, well, every 
battle tome there is on the market old new and knowing him the future ones he has already in his head and is probably accurate <laughs> i mean watching some nerds talking hobby stuff on tv is also pretty sweet i feel like a little kid watching saturday morning cartoons but i know that this type is not for everyone because not everyone has one and a half or two up to three hours time to listen to a basically podcast about how is the battle tone in this new edition or rather in this current edition in this day and age time is a valuable resource and we should do hobby stuff in this time shouldn't we i for myself no <laughs> and this might sound like a stupid excuse but i love hearing people talk about the hobby especially those who know what they're talking about and if the videos of vince venturella are too long for you then we shouldn't forget a wonderful man, the myth, the legend, AOS Coach. He also has wonderful videos all about the Age of Sigma battle tomes. So another great resource to catch up on what you want. So I for myself, I watched the Daughters of Cain video. And then I thought, hmm, I have other armies here. Well, let's watch Sylvaneth. <laughs> I did watch Sylvaneth. It wasn't enough. Then I watched Oziak Bone Reapers. I was very intrigued. But still, it wasn't enough. Then I watched Lumineth Realm Lords. It still wasn't enough. And this was over a period of two days. Sleep eluded me. And I didn't really watch, of course, I listened while doing other stuff. But still, you see my problem. And knowing me, you know I did not stop there. I didn't have the time up until recording this um, to, well, listen to more. So I thought, hmm. There might be another way to motivate me to find the army to, well, have this project with. And with this analysis paralysis, I am really paralyzed. I don't know what to do. I want every, uh, basically every army. And I have almost every army here. It's just that I don't know where to start. And this project is one of the steps for me, for myself, really, for you, it might be a different kind, to find the army I want. So, everyone who knows me for a little bit knows that I love spreadsheets. So I did a thing. I didn't do a pro contra list. No, no, no. This, this is, this is the ultimate bearded spreadsheet for how to find the faction for myself as not only a hobbyist but as a content creator. So, some of you might know the channel Season of War. Exceptionally good battle reports for Age of Sigma. Of course. There are other great battle report channels like Rerolling Once as a quick example. But Season of War just pumps out video after video after video. And with the member exclusive videos, you can also vote which armies are going to show up for the next videos. So, I of course did not did not want to go overboard. So I just looked at 
the videos they did in the last two years <laughs> and wrote down every faction which appeared on the show. And there begins the tricky part. This list, I made this list on Wednesday, July the 5th. So it's been a while since I made this. And I did not, of course, I did not update this list because it would be madness. And this is it. <laughs> so year one is from today, recording this video, to going back up until YouTube says one year and older. And year two is when YouTube says one year up to two years and there was the cut. So everything older than two years is irrelevant for this. And now I see, just as an example, from now to back 12 months ago, Cities of Sigma was only five times on the channel. Daughters of Cain, eight times. Fire Slayers, somehow seven times. Idleness Deepkin, 11 times, and so on and so on. At first, I did this with just the free view videos, but there was a little bit inconsistent because of Battletome releases or just that someone wanted to try an army or train with an army for an upcoming tournament. So I went back to the members exclusive playlist and added that as well. And with all that, we have over the last 24 months at the YouTube channel Season of War, five times Cities of Sigma, 17 times Daughters of Cain, 10 times Fire Slayers, 25 times Ideneth, and so on and so on. I color coded it so I can see it faster. At what rate an army would appear? So, and you can see Daughters of Cain 17 times, Lumineth 25 times, <laughs> Sylvaneth 22 times, Osiak Bone Reapers 19 times. At the time of recording that list, in my mind there were only four <laughs> armies I wanted to play, which of course, as of right now, two weeks later, this has changed. So don't be surprised with that. <laughs> So, with the least of 17, I don't know if I want to present something oversaturated. This is something very deeply personal for everyone. This is not something for you. This is not something for your friends or for anyone. It might be, but this is something totally personal for me. So I looked at the armies who did appear in my green column. So we have ogres six times, not with a range refresh. We have here the Knights of Slanesh. Zinj is the only chaos god for me. We have beasts of chaos. Then we have cities of Sigma. Well, you might say, well, Cities of Sigma is getting a new battle tome. It's getting a range refresh. Well, for that, I do say, my dear friend, you are right. They do get a range refresh. They do get amazing new models. Except for the helmets of the infantrymen. I really don't like those. Those look like the halfling helmets and I don't know. But again, aesthetics is a deeply personal thing. So, yeah, but just imagine how many things are going to be on YouTube for Cities of Sigma. Again, there is, in my mind, no one's going to watch this. Of course, this is a small channel. If this would have been a threshold for me that I want to reach many, many people, I would have stopped a long time ago, but I'm still going on because I love this. 
for me, it's part of the hobby. So, next column, 10 to 14 videos in the two, last two years. We have Sons of Behemoth. Mm, sounds nice, but not right now, maybe in the future. Gloomspite. Also, funny army, but not really for me. Nighthaunt and Flesh Eater Chords. Nighthaunt would be a thing for me, yes, because I love the whole death faction. But I don't know how I want to paint them. I tried many, many times with some test models and I never was pleased with it. So, as of right now, no. Flesh Eaters. Not with an imminent battle tome on the horizon at the end of this year. And probably a range refresh. Or at least new ghouls. Chaos. Skaven. Some of the models are almost as old as I. No. Nurgle. Not with Zinj as my favorite chaos lord. As my favorite chaos god. And here comes the crux of the problem. We have Caradron and Fire Slayers. This should be a given thing for me. Because, first of all, I love dwarves. I have a dwarf army in Lord of the Rings. I have Wotan. But I don't have Duarden. I don't know why. I always wanted to, but those are the only models I really don't have. I would never play Fire Slayers. Because the model line is just boring. But Caradron. Those are basically stunted Germans in balloons. So I know Fire Slayers aren't really my thing. But to be absolutely sure, I had to paint one. Because in my mind, if I don't do this, it will haunt me forever. It will follow me into my dreams and nightmares and screw them until I give in and paint one. So I had to do this as my first step. I have this Battlesmith since the audio version of Godrek's first appearance in the Mortal Realms was released. So a long time ago, because I love the Battlesmith in there, brother, which Mr. Geimer also said was a play on words for brother. <laughs> and I just love him. I wanted to have a battlesmith. Here is a battlesmith. He's painted in my color scheme. And while painting this battlesmith, I started painting it. And I immediately knew this isn't going to be an army for me. As much as I love painting skin, painting metals, there is really nothing that pulls me towards this. As much as I love sexy half-naked models, I don't know, those, even though they have beards, it's kind of boring to know that every single model looks basically the same with just the gold flame keeper or whatever his name is as the exception and the magma droth riders and i know there is an argument for the daughters of cain as they are also half naked sexy people but they have more than just the Witch Elves and the Sisters of Slaughter. They also have the Kinerai, the Melusai, the Doomfire Warlocks. They have the Avatar of Cain and so on. There is a little bit more of visual interest in them. And so I really pushed myself through this. The base is drying as of right now. So that's why the rim isn't painted and... So the texture paint is just drying. I didn't even 
correct the mistakes I made. I just tried a few things uh, like the discoloration of metal through heat. I uh, tried if I can still paint eyes. Luckily I still can. And that's basically it. I didn't even really highlight the model. I just dry brushed the metals and that's it. So with just one model, I learned that the Fire Slayers aren't an army for me. Maybe as of right now, maybe I will pick him up in the future, correct the mistakes I made and, well, at least highlight <laughs> the things I did not highlight, like the skin, like the beard. And that's basically all of him. <laughs> so I know not everyone is willing to do, first of all, all the steps I went through to get to this realization. Because in the video you already knew that there are armies I don't want to play because aesthetics, lore, rules and so on. But to know this army might be a possibility for me, paint one model, I know what to do. This is going on my shelf as a reminder. So the next army is going to be the Caradron. I'm going to paint an Admiral, again in my colors, because I'm saying it right now, I believe that Age of Sigma is going the same route as 40k with 10th edition, that you can paint your army however you want and you can play with the rules with which you like to play the army. In case of Space Marines, you're not really playing Ultramarines, Imperial Fists, White Scars, you're choosing a battle plan, basically, like with the Oath of Moment rules right now in the Index or with the Tyranids, with their hyper-adaptive uh, rules thingy. Sadly, this video isn't in the quality I want it to be, so sorry for that. There were many live things happening uh, during this project. And of course, the, well, no money thing for a second camera to record me paint this. But at the end of this project, I will do a video with all the models in one line. So we can go through on when I realized which army is for me, because this one has basically no effort put into it. I just put pigment onto plastic without passion. And passion for me is really, really important. So what are your thoughts on all of this? If you have any constructive criticism, please let me know. Because maybe I just overlooked a method, maybe I went too deep into one method. Might be a personal thing, might not be. What are your methods on well, to find out if an army is for you or not. So please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section down below. I am keen to know what you have to say. And while you're down there, do all the YouTube stuff because hitting buttons is fun. If you want to support the channel and you don't know what to say, just write your favorite army in the comments. Have a great day, my friend. Stay fantastic. Stay hydrated. And I will see you in part two of this video series with the Caradron Overlord Admiral. And maybe the Caradron aren't going to be the army I want to play. Stay excellent, my friend. Bye. I messed up my own outro. Bye. Bye. <laughs>